What up, the new world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Check this out. Cuba actually uh, accused the U.S. of uh, moving special forces to places in the Caribbean, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, etc., et um, and trying to essentially um, position themselves so that they could uh, co um, uh, essentially attack, make any attacks on any... Um, uh, South or Central American countries, but most especially what's on the radar is Venezuela since we've outwardly uh, denounced the regime that's going on over there. And you know, we pretty much blatantly, when I say we, I mean the government because I ain't the motherfuckers you dig, but pretty much are, are saying out loud that we want to see a coup, we want to see them, them people removed through a non democratic process. Um, you know, the uh, U U.S. has de denied it, uh, most most specifically uh, uh, Elliot Abrams, who is the U.S. Special Envoy to Venezuela. Um, Venezuela foreign minister said that they got 50 nations back in them, so we'll see what happens. What well, the new world order, Bishop Grady, let you know what the fuck going on. So the Democratic National Committee, the DNC, announced that they are hosting presidential debates in June over the course of two nights. So they haven't picked the dates yet, but they are expecting to see at least 20 presidential candidates there. And they gave out the criteria for what it takes to be on the stage, too. First and foremost, you need 1% support in these three polls that they're monitoring. So, you know, look up the DNC and check it out if you're interested. Second off, you need at least 65,000 unique donors. And third of all, out of that 65,000, they have to be 200 donors per state at least for at least 20 states. So essentially to prevent everybody from your hood just you know voting you into uh onto that stage you know because it's a very big stage so shout out to everybody that's that's uh attempting to run for president in 2020 on the democratic ticket um you know i'm thinking should i run man y'all already know i get down and you know my platform too green wall and graduation what are the new world order bishop grady lay y'all know what the fuck going on so the oregonian newspaper actually found that there are uh, several Saudis, uh, Saudi Arabian immigrants, uh, so students who have vanished in the U.S. that actually had committed some very serious crimes. We're talking about things ranging from man manslaughter to rape. And um, there's incidents of um, four uh, students in particular who were in jail, um, bailed out by Saudi Arabian uh, government officials and have yet to have been seen ever since. Um, there's even one incident where one dude who actually was in jail for um, killing a 15 year old girl while driving, vehicular manslaughter, and um, he was uh, not only bailed out, but he was also given a, a fake passport and flown out of the country. And people have yet to see them, so some crazy shit going on. We still want to do an arms deal with him? This motherfucker's crazy, man. Well, Green War and graduation. Order well, the New World Order, Bishop Grady, let y'all know what the fuck going on. So, India has actually accused Pakistan of committing a terrorist attack against them by essentially driving a car full of explosives into a bus that was filled with Indian soldiers. So, uh, 46 soldiers actually died. So, it's a pretty uh, effective terrorist attack. Um, there's actually another group, a, small, a smaller unknown group, that actually claimed the attack, but... You know, the country blamed a whole nother country, so, you know, that can't necessarily be good. But that's what's going on over there in, uh, you know, that Asia slash Middle Eastern region. But that's, both countries are considered Asia. Nevertheless, that's what's happening. War, green, and graduation. Poor the new world daughter letting y'all know what the fuck going on. Bishop Grady in the flesh. See me in my Morehouse joint on, man. You know, just representing for the day. Nevertheless, Pete, what's going on? The Egyptian parliament. That's uh, the, basically the government over there in Egypt, at the t which is at the top uh, eastern part of Africa, has ruled and made it allowable for the current president there, the current leader, to actually stay in, in leadership until 2034. Now, this is like dictatorship type of situations that are being uh, promulgated. And unfortunately, um, you know, people are following suit. The dude had already won a faulty election last year, which President Trump praised him for. Um, so it just seems like a rising dictatorship uh, uh, globally. Nevertheless, um, this dude, Ab Abu Fada El Sisi, has uh, imprisoned thousands ever since the uh, the 2013 coup in Egypt. So, you know, we'll see what happens. It's funny shit going on. Support of the new world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, Shia Ben Abraham's Joseph, better known to y'all as 21 Savage, gangster rapper from Atlanta, was recently, uh, a couple weeks ago, actually arrested by 
Immigration's Custom Enforcement, better known as ICE. ICE agents are going across the country, uh, nabbing up uh, so-called illegal immigrants, people who, who are not here legally and uh, trying to deport them or put them in detention centers. Um, 21 Savage particularly was put in a South Carolina detention center and um, they said that he actually was from Britain, which was news to pretty much everybody in the hip hop community and probably uh, beyond. Um, he also was said to have been here since he was 12, but in his interview with ABC, he actually said that he's been here since he was age seven uh, with his uh, sibling and his mother. And he also brought to light the fact that when they pulled him, they pulled him over. And when they did, they said, we got savage. Just let you know that it's targeted. Um, shout out to Jay-Z because he basically gave him a powerhouse loyalty. So, you know, salute to them, hope it works out. Pulled out the New World Order, Bishop Grady Lay, I know what the fuck going on. So Donald Trump has actually said that he will declare a national emergency so that he could get the rest of his monies so that he could start the construction of a wall along the southern border that's supposed to be made of steel and concrete um, in order to keep out illegal, to stop illegal immigration, you know, stop drug trafficking, which apparently is not going to stop it, and to stop violence, which also is not going to decrease it either anyway. Um, Quite frankly, the numbers that his the own departments give out don't really substantiate his claims. Nevertheless, he wants to declare this emergency, and he's facing a ton of lawsuits well, upon doing so. Um, this is all in response to um, Congress actually uh, signing a bill. He wanted the $5.7 billion from Congress. They agreed to give him like $1.7 or something like that. And uh, he wants to do this emergency and pr basically pull the rest of the monies from um, other departments, Justice Department, Drug Funds, Treasury, etc., etc. So. What other new world order, Bishop Grady Lay, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So Amazon actually said that they are not going forward with building their other brands of headquarters and Queens, New York City. Essentially, they were trying to do so. Um, they saw it as a profitable area and New York City was willing to give them almost $3 billion in tax subsidies with the hopes that they would get 25,000 jobs out of the ordeal, which most likely wasn't going to happen. It already shows signs that it wasn't going down like that. Nevertheless, Amazon decided to pull out because they were backing down to the pressure that protesters were putting on them. So this just shows the power of protesting and how much uh, strength that is actually within the people. One of the lead protesters was actually Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Um, and you know, this is a huge win as they see now because it's like, well, if you had $3 billion to allocate towards Amazon, now we can use that $3 billion towards public schools, public transportation system, just the public in general. So, you know, that's what's going on with that Amazon shit. Power to the people, man. World Green and graduation. Support out of New World Order, Bishop Grady Lay. Y'all know what the fuck going on. So in Denver, Colorado, teachers have been on a strike because they were protesting the fact that they weren't being paid well. Um, you know, and they just needed more help and support in these classrooms or whatever. Nevertheless, yesterday they actually came to a concession with the uh, with with the city and actually won a 12% raise for all teachers in Denver. So that's really huge. It shows it definitely shows uh, where passion and organization will get you, where protesting will get you. It definitely displays the power of the people to get change and get things done. So. Um, also, it should be noted that last year, the Borough of Labor Statistics determined that more people protested, more workers went on strike than any other time uh, in, in history since 1986. So that kind of runs contrary to this idea that, you know, the, the government is putting out that, you know, there's such a, a good labor market where it's really not like that. But that's what's happening. What other new world order, Bishop Grady Lay, I know what the fuck going on. So we have a new attorney general in the land. Uh, attorney general, you're basically like the highest police officer, police chief in the land, essentially. But uh, the new, new attorney general is actually William Barr. He was sworn in yesterday uh, by a 54 to 45 vote from the Senate, which is pretty much, um, you know, was, was pretty much along party lines. Democrats voting no, uh, Republicans voting yes. Um, but it should be noted that William Barr was actually attorney general during the regime of uh, George H.W. Bush, rest in pain, um, and uh, was oversaw not only the opening of Guantanamo Bay, but he also oversaw the pardoning of several officials who were involved in the Iran-Contra scandal, which the hood knows is essentially what brought in the crack ever and, and devastated our community. And um, one of those people was U.S. Special Envoy of Venezuela, currently Elliot Abrams. So you should expect some shady shit to go on. 